Watch, it's just going to load the main menu and then give us the out of memory error. <laughs> Skadoosh. Kapow. Hmm. Do 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 do. Sirichan is currently engorging on Dimitri's food, but you know what? I'll let my little fat princess have some. That's fine. Oh yeah, let's go. Get them all mixed up. That's definitely Gary's sister for a reason. You know it. the celestial river with my boys 80,000 strong and the puny revenants dare to impede me that grand transformation of mine was the only reason you're still standing here a proper kneel to show gratitude would be appropriate no wow Fooled me once, never again. Deceptive tactics like this pose no threat. I'll go size them up first. Keep pace, boy. Yo, last time you went and sized them up first, you got a needle in your brain. Maybe slow down a bit. Hmm. Okay. Will you be playing a Notria? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'll be playing on the 18th. I think I gotta go, uh, gotta go to TwitchCon. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're saying maybe or no, maybe we leave the nineteenth. We'll see. We'll see. Anything else here before I go? We didn't really loot anything or do anything here. Looks pretty linear though. No, I think that's it. Okay. TwitchCon? Yep. If you're going to be at TwitchCon, by the way, I think my meet and greet has a sign up. And I'm pretty sure last year it was, it got full pretty quick. So if you are wanting to come to the meet and greet, uh, make sure to do the sign up. Yep. They limit the numbers pretty hard. Ow. Rude. Is Siri Chan still small? Well, she's fat as heck, but I mean, yes. What are my TwitchCon days? Uh, I, the TwitchCon days are to, are there, let's see, I'm there 19th, 20th, I think, tw actually it's 20th, 21st, and 22nd, I think. Yeah, and then I'm going out 19th and traveling back 23rd. I think that sounds about right. And then I believe my uh, signing is on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yep. Grossian says, how about a bar meetup? I don't think we're doing that this year, but maybe, maybe sometime in the future, like we have in the past. Mm -hmm. This year, I'm definitely going out just to, to I'm doing some stuff for Emberville, uh, my meet and greet, and then I've got like a bunch of, of random meetings here and there on the West Coast that I'm doing. 
But most of it's going to be, honestly, to relax. Like, I'm going to go out and try to meet a bunch of you guys. I'm going to walk the floor as much as I can. Um, yeah, I don't get out of the house too often to see y'all. So I'm going to try to... Try to make it count. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's worth. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, more poison armor. Damn, dude. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that you would need the poison gourd for. Hmm. Kind of cool, though. The spider staff is super good with the centipede armor. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Take that, pot. You jerk. Okay. Okay. No more Space Marine today, brother? Or are you enjoying just monkeying around? Um, I am, Space Marine does not really have an ending for me right now. So I I want to finish this game. This game has an ending. So I'm I'm very interested in kind of like putting a nice little bookend on our Wukong playthrough. Mhm. Mm Is this my game of the year so far? No. Whoa. Dude, what? Are you helping? You might be helping. Um. Okay. Oh. No, they're definitely not helping. This music is amazing. And I cannot get the uh, the parry off on this guy. There it is. Oh. Yeah, it just wasn't there, man. Kill him. Oh, hi. Lord, 
can't be you. <sighs> I thought you were one of them. Well, what happened to me? Hi. <sighs> Vanguard of the Bull King is relieved you're unharmed. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. Oh, I am. I knew of you long ago. The thing you seek, the king must know about it. But is that a Torin? Just like <laughs> Alistair said, yep. Nowhere. The whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up, burning everything in their path. You seem clever. How about you find a way to destroy them, eh? They're called Five Element Carts, an evil and powerful invention of the King's Son. I'm afraid they're not only guarding the passes. Trust me, there's more to it. Got to hold my ground at the entrance for a while. Can't imagine the chaos without me. Tiny piece of gold. Do 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 do. Okay. That went super well. That was good. Fe feeling feeling pretty good. Okay. I think you got torched. I think it did. Any interest in coming back to Seven Days to Die? Yeah. Yes. I'd love to play more Seven Days to Die. I didn't get the last one. There's got to be a better way to do this. Yeah, that was not the best way to do that, uh, but we did it. <laughs> oh man, that shrine is burned to heck. Mm. Okay. Let's go back down real quick just to see 
If there's anything else down there we want to get before we keep moving up this mountain. Looks good here. What about over here? Oh. Skadoosh. Hey, nice. That's a good one. Here's my mans. Hey, mans. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up, burning everything in their path. You seem clever. How about you find a way to destroy them, eh? They're called Five Elements. I'm afraid they're not only. Trust yeah, we know about this. I want to make sure we get all his dialogue. Okay, we're good. We are the good, chat. We are the good. Okay. Let's keep moving. Up the hill we go. Is this, yeah, it has PC controls, but you're just better off using a controller games? It is for me. Mm-hmm. Hey, all any tips on a good build for the Wukong armor set as I'm on final boss? Says Natasha, Natasha Sin. And chat, feel, please feel free to answer him, even though we're not on it. Just please try to keep it as spoiler-free as you can. Despite all their rage, chat. Ow, he blows up. Good to know. Boom. You blow up too? Nah, you just die. First armor of the game is best IMO, the Pilgrim set. Really? Really? Hmm. Add X. I like it. New emote. That's a lot of dumpy, brother. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Oh, I love it. Ooh, bat guys. Bat guy. I wonder if he also stops crime at night. Oh, you? Do you have a? What are you? Cold iron leaves. Oh, we got to go uh, next shrine chat. Remind me, we got to go back and get our plants for the day. Do our farmings. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah.
Feels good, man. Mm. Is this my co uh, my first playthrough? It is. I have been savoring this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Moderately reduce the cooldown of all alteration spells. Huh. That seems really strong. <clears throat> we'll take it. I'm on the last boss and don't want it to end. Good news. I think there's a new game plus. Right? Yeah. The end is the beginning, friend. NG plus three times for the true ending. I don't know if that's true, but if it was, if it is, that's awesome. <laughs> but I, I have no idea if that's true or not. Oh, let's go this way. Is that a dumpy? Yes. Oh, found me a turtle. Mm. I hung out with a turtle yesterday, actually. Mm-hmm. Found a little turtle on my uh, my road driving home. I had to help him across the road because he was scurred and in his shell in the middle of the road. And sir, that is not a good place for a little turtle to be. That is not where a turtle should be, friend turtle. Nope. Got to work on that. What chapter am I on? Uh, five now, I think? Dunk. Bam! Not a turtle driving? What kind of vehicle? Oh, my car. <laughs> no, I was driving home, and there was a turtle, like, in the middle of the road. And he was, like, in his shell. At first, I thought he got hit, but then I noticed that his shell looked fine. So I got out and helped him along. Hey! Fun, fun little fact, by the way, if you're uh, like me and if you see a turtle in the middle of the road, you get out and you help it. First of all, good on you. Second of all, always take a turtle the direction it's facing if you're trying to save it from a road. So if it's like if it's like barely in the road, but it's facing towards the other direction, then you always put it on the other side of the road because it will keep wanting to go that direction. So if you just like put it on the other side of the road, it'll just turn its ass around and walk back across the road. So don't do that. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it just just like draw a straight line from whatever it's facing and just take it that way. And uh, and that that is the best way you can help a little toidle out. Do not try to put it like to the closest side because it'll just go right back in the road. And no one wants that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, <laughs> If the turtle has a spiky shell, just let it be. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not worth your fingers. If it's got a nice smooth shell, yeah, help it out. If it's got a spiky shell, that means it's probably a snapping turtle and they can take your fingers right off and they will. Um so yeah, don't don't mess with them. Also, those big spiky if, if it's a big snapping turtle, the cars are more at risk than it is. Um <laughs> If it's one of those big spiky shell turtles, yeah, you don't need to worry about him if he's in the middle of the road. He's fine. <clears throat> he's good. But the little round-shelled ones, those those guys have much weaker shells, and cars will just break them. So, yeah, those guys you want to help out. Mm-hmm. They got nothing, unfortunately. <laughs> My favorite kind of turtle is a Blastoise. Eh, that checks out. Attracts. Great. 
Mm -hmm. Cool. Ah, here we go. Okay, so let's pop back super quick and check our farm. Oh yeah, what's this new soap do? Using the gourd moderately extends the duration of duplicates for the next pluck of many. Mm. Okay. That I might want. Like, I wonder how crazy we could get that. How long is a short duration? Like, is that an, is a short duration long enough for me to charge up a rank three attack? Or is it the kind of thing where it's like two seconds? Does anyone know? Mm -mm. Longer than a little, but shorter than a long duration. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, I guess I asked for that. Yep. All right. Did it work? Wait, where? How do I know if it's on me or not? Wait a second. Here, it doesn't say there's a cooldown. It doesn't say there's a time limit here. Hmm. I need an enemy. I need an enemy. Is that an enemy right there? Oh. Well, sir! Why was that guy attacking me with a skeleton? Who are you? Father of... Take the form of the Father Stones, releasing two powerful wars that shake and damage surrounding foes. Slightly increases critical hit chance and critical damage. Oh. Ew. Oh, man. This guy seems like he might be good. But I don't like, I don't like that his ability is kind of not great. What was that guy? Was he one of these? No, he was here. One day, a tattered cloth girl stumbled into the valley of Yellow Wind Ridge. Covered in wounds, she sought refuge in a cave belonging to a rock guy after noticing some living goods inside. When the Father of Stones discovered her presence, his initial intention was to expel her. However, upon witnessing her pitiful condition, he relented and granted her permission to rest for a while. To his surprise, the girl ingeniously utilized the wild fruits and game found in the cave to prepare a delectable meal. The tantalizing aroma tempted the Father of Stones, leading him to reconsider his decision and allow her to stay and continue cooking. From that point forward, the stone deity would regularly procure ingredients while the girl skillfully transformed them into delicious dishes. Thus, the guy and the girl coexisted harmoniously for a span of two years. During a routine of washing clothes by the river, the girl unexpectedly encountered a woodcutter from the village. Overwhelmed with emotions upon seeing a familiar face, she couldn't contain her tears upon returning to the cave. 
Through her sobs, she revealed in the harrowing truth that she had fled from her abusive parents who planned to force her into a marriage with a foolish suitor in exchange for a dowry. The girl now lived in constant fear of being captured and forced to be taken back to her repressive home. How long is this? Oh my god. As expected, the following day at noon, a group of villagers arrived at the valley. The girl's parents, afraid of the Algwai, desperately pleaded at the entrance of the cave. Despite their pleas, the determined girl refused to comply with their demands. Frustrated and enraged, her parents resorted to cursing her. However, their vitriol subsided momentarily when the Father of Stones emerged from the cave and bellowed a commanding shout, causing the villagers to retreat in fear. Yet as soon as the stone deity returned inside, the villagers resumed their insults, persistently tormenting the girl. The Father of Stones decided to guard the entrance, but the girl's parents threatened to bring a Taoist to subdue the Stone Gwais if their daughter was not returned. Fearing her presence would bring further trouble to the Stone Gwais, the girl made the difficult decision to quietly leave the cave during the night. Tragically, she fell off a cliff and lost her life. The following day, the Stone Gwais discovered her lifeless body already cold and devoid of any signs of life. Upon hearing about Lady Rakashis of Flaming Mountains and her reputed power and compassionate nature, the Stone Deity made a difficult journey carrying the girl's lifeless body to seek her help. However, Lady Rakashi, with her deep understanding of life and death, examined the girl's body and came to a somber conclusion. She expressed that attempting to revive her would be futile. Even if she were forcibly brought back to life, she would be nothing more than a soulless shell, devoid of the essence that made her who she was. Unwilling to give up, the stone deity waited on the mountain path of the Flaming Mountain every day with the girl's body, hoping to gain Rakashi's sympathy. Even as the girl's flesh turned to bones, he did not abandon his hope. That has like the Futurama dog episode vibes. That's just like really sad. Yeah. Damn. That was a downer? That was a huge downer. That was really sad. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> 